Hello everyone. Today let us know about the project dental clinic. This project is mainly designed to maintain the clinic details easily. This project provides an automated system for the dental clinic. The important task of the project is to provide quick access to available data and to perform necessary tasks like view or make an appointment, view treatment details and calculate billing details as required. Using this system, the patient can take appointment through online. It also helps the receptionist to maintain the records of the patients and also it allows doing the manual operations in an automated form. Appointment Treatment and billing details are easily maintained by the doctor and receptionist and can be viewed by the patient. We can see the zipped file of the dental clinic project. Now let us extract the file. Click on extract files or extract here. So we can see that the folder has been created. Now we can see the file is extracting. Let us open the folder. Inside the folder we can find three zipped files that is database backup, project document and source code. So let us extract all the three files here. We can see as we click on extract files the folders has been created and the files are extracting. Once the files are being extracted completely we can open the folders and view the data in it. So inside data base backup we can find the sql file dental diary inside project documentation we can find two files that is complete project report and more documents in the source code we can find the php files now let us copy the source code and we have to paste it in hdocs i have installed the xamp control panel in c drive so let us copy the source code and go to local disk C inside XAMPP click on hdocs and paste the source code the source code folder has been copied to the folder hdocs and we can see the source code folder has been created so inside this we can find all the php files which are required for the project now let us rename this as dental clinic this is because the code which has the name dental clinic therefore we will be renaming it as a dental clinic here Let us open XAMPP control panel and let us start Apache and MySQL servers. We can see that the servers are running. Open the browser. I am using Chrome browser. You can use any of the browsers. Open localhost slash php myadmin. Under databases, we have to create a new database. So here, give the database name as dental diary and click on create. We can see that the database has been created. We can create the tables but since we already have the created database with us, let us import the database. Click on import and click on choose file. So inside the database backup folder we have seen the SQL file dental diary. Click on open. Remember the name of the database and the file what we are importing must have the same name. Click on go. So we have to wait until the file is being imported and the data in the file has been uploaded to the 
database so we can see that the import is successful and the database has been updated now in the new tab type localhost slash dental clinic which is the folder what we have copied in the htdocs we can see the home page of the project dental clinic here the name of the website is dental diary where we can find the home page of the web page and the various options that is about gallery contact and other information about the website is available to view here now let us log in as the admin under staff login panel click on select and choose admin the login id for the admin is admin and the password is admin 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 let us login and we can view the admin dashboard here under users in add user the admin can add the various users and under view users admin can view the different users under add user the admin can add the different user types that is it can be admins doctors or receptionist the login id that password must be provided by the admin itself and all their details must be filled by the admin under view users here the various users added by the admin are available to view the admin has the authority to edit or delete the details of these users so it can be doctors it can be admin or it can be receptionist and a change password here the admin can make changes to their password details by adding the email id old password and new password and confirm password and the setting we can view many sub menus where under add treatment type here the different treatments available in the clinic are added and the added treatments can be viewed under view treatment type and this can be edited or deleted by the admin so here we can find different treatment types under view or add medicine type so here the different types of medicines that can be provided in the clinic are added and this can be viewed in the view medicine type so these are the different types of medicines that can be provided this can be edited as well as deleted under add or view medicine here the different medicines that can be given to the patient by the clinic can be added here so to add the medicine the different type of medicine type must be selected then the category of the medicine must be selected then its cost must be added and the note that is it can include what is the reason for uh, for giving that particular prescription so this can be edited as well as deleted so in case if the medicine is not available it shows out of stock if it is available it shows available under view or add material here the different materials that are required for the clinic are entered here that is it can be a reusable materials or non reusable materials for example cotton rolls we can see once it is used it cannot be reused again and various apparatus can be used again and again so different materials that are present or that are there in the clinic are added in this material list or material type so this can be deleted as well as edited add or delete add or view 
disease type so here the different diseases can be added that is uh, it can be the diseases which the patient has who comes to dental clinic he might have different other diseases so in such in some cases the doctors need to refer to the other doctors to treat this particular patient so for different this particular different diseases are added here so now let us log out from the admin an already existing patient can log in by entering their login id and password in case if they have forgotten their password then they can click here to change their password the new patient to book an appointment or to request for an appointment they must make a registration let us make the registration of the patient so here the name of the patient must be entered then the mobile number of the patient the email id email id of the patient is required the password and confirm password must be entered then the appointment date that is on which date the patient requires appointment must be added here and the time of the appointment at what time the patient want to visit the dental clinic then the reason of appointment must be entered that is what is the reason for the patient to visit the dental clinic this will help the employees of the dental clinic to authorize the patient to doctors of that particular category so the password must contain at least one special character let us add the special character click on submit and the patient appointment and registration is done successfully now let us log in as the patient so we have done the registration now let us log in with the same login id that is the email id what we had provided and the password what we had created at the time of registration click on submit we can see that the dashboard of the patient is available to view and we can see the status of the appointment is pending that is because the receptionist has not approved the appointment the update profile here the patient can update their profile details so here the gender must be added then date of birth of the patient is required once the date of birth is added the blood group must be selected the address of the patient must be mentioned the city the patient belongs to and the country and the state of the patient is required then the profile image of the patient must be selected and the login id of the patient must be entered so here the patient can log in either using the login id or using the email id then the mobile number which is already given at the time of registration then the additional phone number can be entered by the patient click on save this will update the profile of the patient under change password here the patient can make changes to their password details in take appointment the patient can manually take the patient can take the appointment there book the appointment we have already booked the appointment so let us view the appointment so we can see that the appointment status is pending and there is an action for the patient to 
delete also let us log out from the patient now let us log in as the receptionist under staff login panel select the receptionist as the user type and then enter the login id as reception and password as reception 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 click on login we can view the dashboard of the receptionist and the add patient here the receptionist can add the patients who visit the clinic and the view patients here the different patient records can be viewed by the receptionist it can be deleted as well as edited by the receptionist under set appointment the receptionist can set the appointment for those patients who visit the clinic here the doctor must be selected and all the other details must be selected under view appointment different appointment records can be viewed by the receptionist under add expense the different expenses of the clinic must be added that is it can be material or salary or medicine expenses in view expense the receptionist can view the different expenses of the dental clinic this can be edited as well as deleted under view appointment now we can view the appointment of the patient whom we had registered so here the receptionist must select the doctor and then confirm the appointment of the patient now we can see that the appointment is confirmed successfully now let us log out from the receptionist now let us log in as the patient and view the appointment status so enter the email id or login id of the patient and enter the password then click on submit so now we can view the patient account so we can see that the status is active and in under view appointment we can see the appointment status is active click on log out now let us log in as the doctor select the user type as doctor and the login id as doctor password as doctor 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 the doctor dashboard is available to view and a patient in view patient the various patients records can be viewed by the doctor the doctor also can edit or delete the patient details under appointment under payment the payment report can be viewed and in expense the expense details can be viewed and under appointment the different appointments details can be viewed the doctor can view the appointment details and clicking on the reporting button the doctor can view the patient details so in personal the personal details of the patient is available to view for the doctor under medical the doctor can view the medical details the doctor must update the medical details of the patient that is if the patient has any diseases then who is the a physician for that particular disease the details must be entered and the address of that particular physician and the contact number of the physician and note under that any note can be included that is for what reason uh, this particular disease is recorded in the dental details of the patient by clicking on submit the disease type will be added under the medical details the doctor can delete the records added under dental the different teeth problems or teeth issues can be viewed and here the different codes are added that is dmr prs these are the different dental codes for the different teeth problems the upper portion is the adult teeth and the lower portion is the children teeth
and the treatment now the doctor can select the particular problem or particular teeth and if it is treated then the treatment taken or treatment given by the doctor must be mentioned here the treatment is given twice in a week the treatment taken by the patient must be entered to help for the doctor for the further or the next appointment of the patient and what are the materials used in that particular session must be selected and what is the type of treatment given and what is the charge taken by the doctor a treatment record this treatment record will be added in the patient's record details and the prescription the prescriptions given by the doctor to the patients must be entered here it is the medicine type the name of the medicine what is the dosage and how many number of days the medicine is prescribed so all number of uh, prescriptions added can be available to view under medicine type in the same prescription menu so the doctor must enter all the prescriptions provided to the patient so this can be deleted also by the doctor under case report all the report of the patient that is the treatment type treatment date treatment time then what is the prescriptions given all these details can be viewed in the case report and this can be printed for the record purpose as well as to provide this for the patient under images the different treatments given by the patient must be selected and then how was the patient's condition before giving the treatment the photo must be uploaded here by clicking on choose file the photo must be selected before giving the treatment then the time and the date on which the photo was taken must be mentioned here then clicking on submit the record will be added under note any description can be mentioned so now we can view the image of the patient before giving the treatment now the doctor must enter the condition of the patient after giving the treatment the image must be selected and date and time of the image taken must be mentioned here so clicking on submit the image will be uploaded so we can view the two different uh, pictures that is before and after under payment the payment or billing is done here the different types of billing that is for the treatment for the prescription what is the uh, amount for uh, treatment that must be entered then the bill date must be selected but we can see that the doctor has already entered the treatment bill so let us enter the prescription bill so for the prescription given to the patient what is the cost for the prescription that must be entered then what is the cost for the other details that is for consultation charge the consultation charge of the doctor must be mentioned here so the new bill is created so now we can see that total of the bill is made automatically and the bill balance amount can be viewed that is the patient has not made any payment therefore we can view the balance amount as 2100 once the patient makes the payment it will be updated in the paid amount and balance amount will be minus or cancelled so we can see that the payment has been made now and now we can see that the bill amount 
100 has been paid under paid amount and the balance amount is zero now let us add one more bill here let us add under others so let us add let 300 rupees and click on create bill so here we can see that the balance amount is 300 now so this amount has not been paid by the patient therefore once the patient pays it will be cancelled now let us log out from the doctor let us log in as the patient enter the login id and password of the patient to log in to the patient account click on submit now we can view the patient account details under report in case report here the patient can view their case details the treatment given to them and the prescription provided to them by the doctor under payment report the payment made by them can be viewed here the total bill amount can be viewed and the balance amount also can be viewed this can be paid by them once they visit the clinic next time under take appointment the patient can take the appointment for the next time they can select the doctor and then they can book the appointment date and appointment time and then the reason for taking the appointment must be entered then click on confirm appointment so the appointment is added so this will be confirmed only after the confirmation by the receptionist until then it will be pending and also the patient can delete if they doesn't want to go for the appointment let us log out from the patient so this is about the project dental clinic thank you for watching the video for further queries kindly visit our website thank you